I feel like this needs some context. This episode of Film London is brought to you by Envato Elements. guys and welcome back to a new episode of Mystery Client. Now on today's episode we're talking all about stock footage and how you can use it to enhance the production value of your YouTube videos, your short films or even feature films because guess what? Hollywood does it all the time in their movies and TV shows. Yes, that's right, even they use stock footage. Now when I say the word stock footage a lot of people just immediately go to like people on green screens and just blurry backgrounds and just general stuff that you see in YouTube videos. Now as a quick case study, our mystery client for the week wants a fake news report for their YouTube video. So the easiest way to do that was to go into Envato Elements and download an entire broadcast package that includes a news title, news scrolling thing down the bottom, lower thirds, even the weather channel, some backgrounds, the whole thing. You can create an entire fake news show just with one of these packages from Envato Elements. So you might then ask, how does the stock footage come into play then? Well, if you've seen any kind of news report on movies or TV, they invariably use stock footage to enhance that because they're not gonna go out and shoot a whole bunch of archival footage to cut into their movie. Hello, I'm Grant Cook in an ill-fitting suit that I wore for my wedding eight years ago, and this is FL News. A goat has stolen a man's carrot in a brazen robbery. We now take you live to our foreign correspondent who has that voice that you hear in all those BBC reports. This is Arthur Wigglebottom, and this is his wife Bootsy. Once upon a time, they loved dotting around in their garden and growing what only could be described as carrots. That was until the day Arthur decided to feed a stray goat a carrot stick. Not only did the goat rather enjoy it, but the next day, he saw himself overrun by a gang of carrot-addicted goats that decimated their land in less than 24 hours. Today, Arthur is a broken, carrotless man, and Bootsy simply wishes for a time when that goat didn't eat that carrot stick. A simpler time. Hmm, disturbing. So yes, if you are creating any kind of news show in general, or you're creating something that's going to slide into say a video or a short film that you are working on, utilizing stock footage is a great way to really cut down on those production costs and just insert something that you don't have to go and shoot yourself. So it's gonna save you time and money. Now another great use of stock footage that you've probably seen if you've been hanging around YouTube for any period of time now is commentary videos. So for example, say The Right Opinion or I Hate Everything, they use stock footage all the time in their videos. Now obviously they use that stock footage because they don't show their face, but they also use it to illustrate points. And obviously using stock footage in those videos does enhance them because otherwise it's just gonna be a voice on screen. So yeah, if you're doing any kind of video where you just wanna record your voice and not show your face on screen, utilizing stock footage to populate that video is a great way to, yeah, populate that video with something visual. And as I mentioned previously, there are hundreds of thousands of clips that you can find on Envato Elements that are gonna help you to populate that video, no matter what the subject is, as long as it's not too weird. Now, obviously there is one really easy way to integrate stock footage into your video, and that's by either shooting yourself on a green screen and just comping that background in to set yourself on that location. If you are, of course, a zero budget person, like I am just filming in a studio, or you can actually utilize a trick that I showed in my previous episode and what they've been doing on The Mandalorian on a much bigger scale, and that's simply filming in front of a screen to sell you on that location. That way the TV is gonna give you realistic light bleeds around your subject, or say your product, and if you match the lighting correctly, it's gonna look pretty decent. The guys over at Cinecom.net actually did a really good episode on this, where they used a laptop behind their product and shot a whole product promo just by using the laptop as a projected background behind their product. It turned out really, really well. Now, of course, there's one other piece of stock footage that I didn't talk about, and it's something we utilize on Filmland all the time, and that is pre-keyed alpha channeled elements. Now, this is something like explosions, blood elements, muzzle flashes, anything that has an alpha channel is also considered stock footage, and it also can be used to enhance your production value. So whether that's adding fire elements to your footage, whether it's adding smoke, weather elements, whatever it is, that's clearly another thing that's gonna add to your production value and really enhance your film. Now I know we've used these a lot on Filmland, so I thought it might be a bit redundant to talk about, but 
it so happens that Envato Allens actually has a check mark in their search filter that you can actually look for pre-keyed alpha channel footage. So feel free to jump on there, have a search and see what they've got. Now the last use of stock footage I wanna to touch on is probably the most prevalent in Hollywood, in movies and TV, and that is establishing shots. Invariably, they're not shooting on these locations. Not every movie or TV show has millions and millions of dollars to spare, and say they wanna trot all over the globe, you might see this in say something like The Blacklist. There is no way they are going to all these different locations to shoot. So how do they solve that problem and sell you on it? Establishing shots with stock footage. So say they're flying to New York or Paris or whatever. They might just have a shot of the airport and then cut to a shot of the city, you know, a big sprawling aerial thing. And then they'll cut to where they shot on location or in a set. So you can see just by integrating a little bit of stock footage, you can enhance your production value a whole bunch. So guys, you can see how easy it is to integrate stock footage into your projects to really enhance the production value. Whether you're using it to fill the void of visuals in a commentary video, whether you're using it to beef up a fake news report, whether you're using it as a background for your green screen footage, or you just wanna use it to insert an establishing shot to sell a location in your short film or your video. So guys, that'll do it for this episode of Mystery Client where we talked all about stock footage. Now, gang, if you are interested in picking up a membership for Envato Elements, just click on that link down below. I just wanna thank them for sponsoring this video and sponsoring the whole Mystery Client series. Now, we'll be back in a few days to announce the winner of the BenQ Screen Lamp giveaway, so just keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it, guys, and it does help out. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film in an episode. Episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. One of those is the pilot episode of Mystery Client, so be sure to check that out. I've got all my socials over here, around here somewhere, so check those all out. But until I see you again, guys, let's solve another mystery and keep learning.